Welcome to the first week of Spring's Asana class. Welcome yogis to week one of Spring's Asana class. This week's flow is a moon flow, Kali and Chandra. As we gather on our mats today, let's embark on a journey of inner cleansing and rejuvenation through the powerful practice of Kali Mudra. I invite you to find a comfortable seat on your mat and gently interlace your fingers. But here's the magic touch. Bring those index fingers together, creating a symbolic sword of transformation. Feel the connection, the unity, as your hands come alive with purpose. This sacred mudra serves as a transformative tool, allowing us to release the grip of negativity and to dispel illusions, inviting the purifying energy of renewal into our beings. Imagine wielding this energetic sword, a tool to cut through the illusions that weigh on your spirit. As you engage in this mudra during this practice today, sense the power emanating from your fingertips, ready to release any lingering negativity. This is your personal invitation to step into the flow of rejuvenation. Picture it as a symbolic shedding of the heaviness of winter as we step into the blossoming embrace of spring. With each intentional gesture, we carve a path to remove the influence of negativity and empower ourselves against the forces that no longer serve us. Imagine yourself standing at the threshold of spring ready to shed winter's heaviness. With Kali Mudra, you're not just interlacing fingers, you're forging a connection to your own strength and resilience. Today, we channel this energy, creating space for positivity and embracing the vibrant energy that the season of rebirth brings. So let's begin our journey together. Index fingers aligned, hearts open, and spirits ready for the transformative dance of Kali Mudra. Embrace the power within and let the energy flow. Let the wisdom of Kali Mudra guide us as we flow through this moon flow practice leaving behind what no longer serves us and stepping into the light of a refreshed spirit. This is your time. And now please join me on the mat where we shall start in an easy cross-legged seated position. I will join you soon. Thank you. Welcome yogis to week one of Spring's Asana class. This week's flow is a moon flow, Kali and Chandra. As we gather on our mats today, let's embark on a journey of inner cleansing and rejuvenation through the powerful practice of Kali Mudra. I invite you to find a comfortable seat on your mat and gently interlace your fingers but here's the magic touch. Bring those index fingers together, creating a symbolic sword of transformation. Feel the connection, the unity, as your hands come alive with purpose. This sacred mudra 
serves as a transformative tool, allowing us to release the grip of negativity and to dispel illusions, inviting the purifying energy of renewal into our beings. Imagine wielding this energetic sword, a tool to cut through the illusions that weigh on your spirit. As you engage in this mudra during this practice today, sense the power emanating from your fingertips, ready to release any lingering negativity. This is your personal invitation to step into the flow of rejuvenation. Picture it as a symbolic shedding of the heaviness of winter as we step into the blossoming embrace of spring. With each intentional gesture, we carve a path to remove the influence of negativity and empower ourselves against the forces that no longer serve us. Imagine yourself standing at the threshold of spring, ready to shed winter's heaviness. With Kali Mudra, you're not just interlacing fingers, you're forging a connection to your own strength and resilience. Today, we channel this energy, creating space for positivity and embracing the vibrant energy that the season of rebirth brings. So let's begin our journey together. Index fingers aligned, hearts open, and spirits ready for the transformative dance of Kali Mudra. Embrace the power within and let the energy flow. Let the wisdom of Kali Mudra guide us as we flow through this moon flow practice, leaving behind what no longer serves us and stepping into the light of a refreshed spirit. This is your time. And now please join me on the mat where we shall start in an easy cross-legged seated position. I will join you soon. Thank you. So we're taking an easy pose. You might like to place a, a block or a cushion under the bottom. Just allowing the back to be soft, not rigid, self-supporting. Just allowing the eyes to soften. They may close naturally if you're comfortable with that. As we come into this space, feeling the energy within the body, Noticing any physical tensions that you may need to release with each exhalation. Allowing the body to relax, pulling the mind in. Become aware of the breath. And we make a conscious connection to the breath as we control it gently. As we breathe in, count to four. Honour the pause at the top. And as you breathe out, controlling the exhalation to match the floor. So 
to breathing in two three four exhale two three four just keep following the count following the breath as the body and mind relaxes into this space Now that the body feels aligned with this space, we begin our practice. Come into a standing position towards the front of your mat. Feet are about hip width apart. I want you to feel the feet. Make sure you feel aligned with the feet. Maybe lift the toes, lift the heels. The knees are soft, the spine is long. And as we inhale, we're gonna gently take the hands up, allow the breath to initiate the movement. Keeping the shoulders soft. When you reach the top, come up onto your tippy toes, finding a little bit of balance. Exhale, heels come down, hands slowly follow the breath down, feeling the space underneath the hands as they descend. Inhale, follow the breath up. Exhale, follow the breath down. One more, up we go. When you reach the top, coming into that Kali Mudra that we talked about earlier. I want you to push up so you can feel the spine lengthening. Keep the shoulders soft, lengthening out the spine. Just widen your stance a little bit. And as you exhale, Slowly folding to the right side, stretching out the left side. Allow the inhalation to bring you back up to center. Lengthen upwards. Exhale, fold to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands come down to Namaste Mudra. Hands in prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, take the hands up. Kali Mudra. Exhale, fold to the right. This time staying there as you inhale, push through those fingertips, stretch out the side, Exhale. Inhale, rise into the top. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold to the other side. Inhale, push through those index fingers. On the next inhale, rise into the center. Exhale, hands come down to the heart. Bringing the feet back to hip width apart. I want you to place your hands on the small of your back. We're going to do a little forward fold, a backward fold. The important thing when we're doing little back bends 
is that we lengthen out the spine first. So we inhale, lengthening that spine like the string being pulled from the top of the head. Allow the knees to come forward, pelvis comes forward. You can leave your chin towards your chest, Just bending back as far as feels comfortable. Shoulders are soft, breathe. If it doesn't compromise your neck, you can look upwards. This is work at those core muscles, engage them, hold them. On your next exhale, coming back up to a standing position. Inhale, lengthen spine, dropping back as you exhale. If you feel stable and your core muscles are engaging, you're going to bring your hands up into Kali Mudra. Breathe. Exhale, back to centre. Hands come to the heart. If you're still feeling quite strong in that core muscle area, but if not, please come back to holding the hips. We're going to inhale, take the hands up, Kali Mudra. Stretch it up, lengthen that spine. Knees, hips forward as you slowly back bend. Breathe. Next exhale, coming back up, hands to the heart. Placing your hands on your thighs as you exhale, hinging forward from the hips, keeping that back nice and straight, nice and flat, horizontal to the earth. Push the tailbone back, so we're lengthening out the spine, Stretching out the hamstrings. As you exhale, bend the knees a little bit. Keep hinging from the hips. Place the belly on the thighs. Allow the hands to drop towards the floor, dropping the head. Now if you have high or low blood pressure, please keep that head up. Otherwise, let go of the belly, feel yourself falling from the hip joints. We're going to inhale, come back to that halfway lift, hands are on the thighs, pushing the tailbone back. Exhale, folding over, bending the knees as much as is required. Inhale to halfway. Maybe you can place your hands on your shins. But if you can't get a flat back, come back up to the thighs. It's not a problem. Exhale, folding over. Let the belly go, fall from the hips. You may like to hold onto your elbows, gently sway. Placing both hands on the floor, exhale, step that right foot back, place the knee down, just wriggling it back as far as is comfortable, untuck the toes, you may like to climb up, straightening the back, bring the hands up, Kali Mudra, stretch it up. Keeping the body vertical to the ground. As you exhale, allow the hips to slowly sink in. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Little back bend. Exhale, bring the hands down to the ground. 
tuck that right toes under, take the left foot back. Coming into downward dog, walk it out. It's your first time here for this today. Stretching the calf muscles. We're going to come into Ashtanga, so place your knees down, keep the toes tucked under. Elbows down, chest and chin down. Then stretch it out, coming up into baby cobra, coming up into cobra. Allow the lower back to soften. Tuck the toes under. Lift the thighs. Exhale into downward dog. We're going to take that right leg up in the air behind you then stepping it forward to the front of the mat between the hands drop that back knee untuck the toes wiggle that knee back as far as is comfortable inhale rising up Kali Mudra stretch it out exhale sink the hips in Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, little back bend. Hands come down to the ground. Tuck your left toes under. We're going to come into a ball shape. So bring that foot up, bend the knees, drop the head. Allow the back to rest and stretch out. Coming into a forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Keeping this part of the back straight, not bending from there, or from the hips. Inhale, we're going to walk up to that halfway lift, stretch it out. Bring the hands up. Bend the knees a little bit, use the core muscles, bring the hands up to the top. Up onto the toes, little balance. Exhale, put the heels down, Kali Mudra. Exhale to one side. Inhale to the top. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to the top. Hands come down to the heart. Inhale, take the hands up. Kali Mudra. Stretch it out. As you exhale, come into that little back bend. Exhale, coming back to centre. Inhale, exhale, folding over. Inhale, stepping that right foot back. High lunge this time, come into a runner's lunge. Allow those hips to stretch out, we're opening them up. Once again, you can climb up to inhale, come up. Kali Mudra, stretch it up. We're going to go into a twist. So we're going to allow our hands to come down, keep the right out the front, take the left back. Bring that hand back forward, hands rise, stretch it up, exhale, hands come down to the ground, downward dog. Up. 
Ashtanga. So knees come down, elbows come down, chest and chin comes down. Stretching out, coming into Cobra. Tuck the toes under, upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Taking that right leg back up behind you, stepping it forward. High lunge. Stretch it up. Kali Mudra. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale into the twist. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come down to the ground, stepping forward into the ball. Forward fold. Come into the halfway lift. Bring the hands up. Last bit of balance, uppermost toes. Exhale, hands to the heart. Coming into mountain pose. Feel the body go inside. Feel the heart, feel the breath, feel the energy, feel the body. Down into ball. Make your way onto your back. Don't forget a bolster to go underneath your knees as you lie down for Shabasana. Allowing the body to rest, eyes soften and close as you relax, feeling the support of Mother Earth underneath you. Feel the breath rising and falling in the lower belly and the heart centre. Allowing the breath to soften, quiet, ever so soft, and relax, staying here for as long as you like. 